Kimberly and I did uh, the Tuesday pod last week on uh, voting and technology and fraud and how to do it and what a, a goat rope it is turning out to be this time. We spoke to Michael Alvarez. He's a Caltech uh, at the Voter Something Something Project, and somebody's going to slack it to me, and I'll get it before the end of this piece. But anyway, uh, we asked him what he is worried about when it comes to this year's election. Uh, Levi Adams wanted to chime in, and here's what he said. Hi, Kai and Molly and Kimberly. This is Levi from New Brunswick, New Jersey. In your recent discussion about voter security, your expert stated that he believed our elections are actually pretty secure. And with the caveat that he's an expert and I'm just some small off the street, I have to say I I don't feel the same way. I still will vote because I'm one of those people who votes even in off years when the races are for some assistant vice director of, I don't know, paperclip management or something. But the feeling that my voice is less likely to count this year has really greatly reduced my motivation to vote. And I really worry that many other Americans will feel the same way and just not vote at all. Thanks, love the show. Do not feel that way, vote. Because that's the whole plan. Full stop. Yep. Do not, that's that's the the whole plan. plan. That is the whole freaking smash right there. Holy cow. What you just said is exactly the goal. And Kimberly made that plain in your episode She said, this is a form of voter suppression, Suppression, sowing doubt about an election and whether that election will be fair and whether it will be rigged is a form of voter suppression. It is a playbook. It happens all the time. It has been happening in this country for decades. It just happens to be even stronger over the last four years or so nationwide, but Levi, all the more reason, like the more you feel yeah, that way, reals. the more you need to make sure that you and your friends vote, because that is true. The goal is to get a lot of Americans to feel that way and not vote. Like, let's just say it plainly. That's the goal. Don't fall for it. Let me make sure I get Michael Alvarez's ID right. He is, uh, he's a Caltech and he runs the Caltech MIT Voting Technology Project. He's a professor of political science there. Yeah, vote. Don't, don't do this whole, oh, my vote's not even going to count, uh, you know. Yeah. So, so here's another quick mom story, right? And I know we're getting long in the tooth here, but on, on one of my recent conversations with my mother, she said, you know, Kai, I feel so strongly this election that I'm going to go stand in line to vote. And I'm like, mom, you're an 80 year old woman. You are not going to go stand in line to vote. So I spent some time online yesterday digging out the voter registrar information for her town and voter application ballot guides and all of that jazz and emailing it to her. There are ways to do this that will get you around the obstruction being put up by the defenestration uh, of the United States Postal Service. Um, mm-hmm. Do not not vote, if that makes any sense. Right. And to be yeah. clear, like anyway. the U.S. Postal Service is just one of the many efforts. Yeah. yeah Every sure. time someone tells sure. you that this election is rigged or you can't trust the results, it is an attempt to get you to not vote. Like, understand that. I'm staring at the camera. Because understand that with crystal clarity. That's what's happening. Don't listen to it. 